Natural gas is a fossil fuel. Describe how deposits of natural gas were formed. Now, this is a bit of a sneaky question, actually, because you're meant to know how oil forms and how coal forms, but it never explicitly says how does natural gas form. However, it is a reasonable question for them to ask because natural gas forms in the exact same way and in the exact same place as crude oil. Now, as the name suggests, they are fossil fuels, which means they are formed from the remains of living organisms that have decayed in a way that is non-standard. Now, unlike coal, which is formed from the remains of plants, typically in swamps, oil and also natural gas are formed from the remains of marine organisms. And so that's the angle that we need to take for this question. So millions of years ago, plankton, which are tiny microscopic marine organisms, they were living in the oceans. You could also say algae for this marking point. And then they died, as all organisms do, and they sank to the bottom of the ocean. And once they were there, they were covered in sediments. Now, sediments is a catch-all word that is used to describe mud and sand and bits of rock and things like that. And the idea there is that the marine organisms are being buried under this sediment. So that's the second marking point that you need to include. You could also say that as a consequence of this being buried by the sediment, the oxygen that typically supports the decomposition of something once it's died is being blocked from the remains of the plankton. And so what that means is the plankton is going to decay in anaerobic conditions. In other words, in the absence of oxygen. And that's the reason why we don't get normal decomposition and we get the formation of fossil fuels instead. In addition to denying oxygen to the remains of the plankton, we also have this layer upon layer of rock forming at the bottom of the ocean, and that subjects the remains to extremely high pressure. You could probably refer to it more simply as compression, but high pressure is better. And in addition to that, it also causes the remains to be subjected to really, really high temperatures as well. To get the third marking point, you do actually need to include a reference to the high temperature and the high pressure as well, not just one of them. And to complete the formation of the fossil fuels, really we should acknowledge that this is not a quick process such as the decay of an organism normally is. It will take place over millions and millions of years and that's why we refer to it as a fossil fuel and why we refer to fossil fuels as being non-renewable because it takes such a long time for them to form in the first place. We can't possibly replace or replenish them at the rate that we can use them because it takes millions of years.